Bonjour, welcome to ilovelyrick.com, this amazing extravaganza for St. Patrick's Day. I'm here with Michelle McMahon, Jerry Flannery, Leanne Moore, Olivia Sullivan, Francis Healy, Valerie O'Connor, and a host of other Limerick people. Right here we got the Great Limerick Run. We're also with the Learning Hub from Kalili. And we're with the cyclist back here with Milford Hospice on Snow White on her bike. Snow White is not normally found on an exercise bike, but times have changed since the fairy tale was first written. Snow White today is Leonie McMeal. Tell us why you are cycling on our float. Uh, well, Richard's been good enough to give us a platform to promote what we're doing. We're doing um, a spinathon or a cycle mania, as we call it. Um, it's for Milford Hospice. What is the Learning Hub, Gina? The Northside Learning Hub is an organization that works with young and old people, but we specifically work with 10 to 14 year olds trying to bring the curriculum life in a non-formal educational setting. We uh, do art, music, dance, etc. Wow, this place is so amazing. If you don't know about the Learning Hub, seriously, learninghub.ie, look it up online. You can see behind us the effort that went into these kids. Say hi guys, say hello, hey. So can you tell me anything else about the learning how people need to know? Today we are eco-warriors and we're fighting to save Limerick from litter and pollution and bad attitudes. Limerick Run, are you going to do the Great Limerick Run? You want to get involved? No, no. no. you're going to walk in. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they're clever. <laughs> Today we're just getting ready to take off and extremely excited, waiting for the trucks before us to move, hopefully any minute now, anticipation is building, so come on, get a move on up there. We're moving, we're moving. What does Limerick and St. Paddy's Day mean to you? Oh, listen, I was in the Paddy's Day Parade since I was a kid. Um, when Sally Benson's band, the Limerick City Brass and Reed Youth Band, yay! Sammy was brilliant. So I have very fond memories of marching down this street every year since I was about 10. I love Limerick. It's home, isn't it? Limerick is home. What's not to love? I love Limerick too. Look at all these amazing people. <laughs> Father, my brother, my sister, I love you. The great thing about being from Limerick is everybody knows somebody. I mean, Richard knows everybody. And all the people he doesn't know, I know. And all the people I don't know, Gary knows. So, Leanne, favorite things about Limerick? Um, the people. The people. They're pretty cool. I love the people of Limerick. I think uh, a lot of things about Limerick. And he's got the best looking women in Ireland. Did you catch that, Leanne? He's got the best looking women in Ireland. Limerick has? Yeah. Aww. You have to say that. He's surrounded by women. How are we doing over here? <laughs> are we having fun with Jerry Flannery on the float? Are we all having fun? I love Limerick.com. Happy Paddy's Day. Happy Paddy's Day. Jerry, tell me, like, obviously, you know, you're in, in rugby because of love of the sport. But is this a nice bonus to it, the way people react to you? It's, it's probably one of the responsibilities that comes play, with playing rugby for months is that it's so well known and that so many people go to the games that you're in the public eye and then it, it just means that you get a chance to go out and do stuff like this as well as cool, you know? Promoting Limerick is all about, you know? For any friends that I have, especially lads I know playing rugby, whenever they come down to Limerick and they play a game and go out that weekend, they just think it's the best city in the world, you know? And a good example is we, we played, uh, when Ireland played Wales the last day in the Six Nations. You had a huge influx of Welsh supporters coming over just to come to Limerick, not to go to the game, but to come to Limerick because they know it's such a good city to go out, to socialise, people are so friendly and there's such a passion for rugby here, you know, and they have such a good night out and, and that's the biggest thing we've got to do is, when we get down to Limerick, they'll change the perception of it. A day like today where we've got a bigger parade than the capital city, the weekend has just gone where we had Skyfest and the place looked absolutely amazing. The great Limerick run would just run along beside us. It is just like the Milford Hospice cycle that's behind us. There's so many amazing things happening and people need to get out and see it. I think it's the people though down here that are, um, that are making 
happy it all happened. I mean, people are aware that it gets an awful lot of stick, as Jerry said, in the media and whatnot. And uh, I think people are aware of that now. And, uh, and they're all trying to change it themselves, which is great. The whole Isle of Limerick project for me has been absolutely phenomenal because it's just all positive energy. There's no negativity allowed in any shape or form. So to be in project there with people who only want to do good and only want to do it for the sake of doing good. It's, there's no financial gain. No. There's, no, there's nothing yeah. like that. That's what I love it's, about all this. It's just people who went, you know what, let's stop talking about how shit everything is yeah. and let's go make a difference. Let's do yeah. something that's a little bit better. And it's, it's all been, it's been phenomenal. And this is definitely a highlight. It's, it's fantastic. And once I've again, can we just cut to Richard, yeah. who's having a ball here next to us and uh, showing that he really is the show. inspired by this city. <laughs> Connell Street on our Isleoflimerick.com float. To the left to the right all around us are amazing Limerick people. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Our amazing Limerick people. And uh, we are so proud and so blessed to be from the best city in Ireland. That's right, I said it. This is the creative hub of Ireland right here. Limerick City, Ireland. And this is for our parade. The biggest parade in Ireland. Check it out. It's better than a U2 concert. This is Gary O'Donnell, the hottest man in Limerick who refuses to dance. This is the sexiest alien I've ever met in my entire life. Love Cap and peace. Captain Kirk had a blue one, but this one is a shade of pink that I really, really prefer. I'm still waiting. Thanks, baby. One day. And we just want to put it out there right now that we think that Jerry is the sexiest man in Limerick, and we're putting his vote up for the Limerick Leader 50 Sexiest Men vote for number one. What stage that, Jerry? I was pretty horrified last year. I felt I was robbed, so... There's I no did. justice in the world. No, no, especially not. There's a lot of haters out there who've been hating on me from day one, so... I'm going to start get the campaign going early this year, and hopefully I'll take my crown. Limerick and rugby are two things that can never be separated. Rugby is the life force of Limerick, and in this town, this man is a superstar. How do you feel about that, Jerry? Yeah. Can you take the heat? I can take the heat, but, like... If you're saying superstar, then sexy's got to be thrown in there as well. Sexy I mean, that, superstar. Well, I was Barry Murphy's dad beat me last year in the Limerick Sexiest Man. I'm Willie O'D, so. Uh, we don't think there's any justice in the world, personally, do you? No, I was pretty, I was can, pretty can, good at Can I just point out, though, that someone that's on this vote did make the list? Richard Lynch. I was 11th <laughs> Sexiest Man in Limerick, but the top gay, I might add. There's no justice in the world. Look at that for folks. Look at that. Oh, my God, here we are. We're at the mayor. We're here at the mayor. I love Limerick. I love Limerick.com. Salute to you. So, these are all the important people in Limerick. We got um, Maria Byrne, Willie OG. We love you, Willie. I love Willie. <laughs> the mayor. Do you see these lovely people? Happy St. Patrick's Day from I Love Limerick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how many people turned out. Literally, the streets have been lined the whole way, like, lined too. Like, six or seven people think the whole way down. Absolutely, right back to walls. Even the luckiest people that actually live in O'Connell Street sticking their heads out the windows, and it's been fabulous. What an amazing view behind me. St. Mary's Cathedral. It's actually the oldest functioning church in the whole of Ireland. And the interior is really amazing. Of course, this is a really interesting historic part of town anyway. So, Jerry, what do you think? We're at the end of it. How was the Paddy's Day Parade in Limerick? Oh, I had a brilliant time, brilliant. And a uh, real good response from all the crowd. And I think we got the Isle of Limerick buzz going across. An absolutely fantastic success, I think, for everyone involved. So, from Jerry Flannery and myself, Michelle McMahon, and ilovelimerick.com, happy St. Paddy's Day. We've had a fantastic day from ilovelimerick.com. Bye. Bye. Until next time. Get to the iPhone. Paddy. St. Patrick himself, what can I say? Paddy, say hello to the nation. Hello, you're welcome to Ireland. And Paddy's a man of few words. We are here at ilovelimerick.com. The parade is breaking down. We have an absolute ball here today. Thank you so much for joining us on ilovelimerick.com. Come back soon.